hello everyone welcome again and uh, in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a web application which is uh, going to read a date from a date picker uh, using jsp jquery and mysql and uh, finally we read that uh, date from the servlet and uh, insert into the database on uh, mysql database uh, i'm doing this because uh, one of my user uh, viewers give me a comment like please put video at a date time picker in jsp form and pass the value to servlet to db so i try to do that uh, task and uh, i think i do that successfully so i am going to create a tutorial on that so for that i write a post in my blog code1.com so i will provide all the links below the video you can view from there also i will provide that link and um, so let's start the tutorial how to do that just open this link and uh, if you want to read this part, article you can read and uh, for the developing purpose i'm using id as a netbin id so i'm going to create again a fresh project for this so let's create a new project and the java web web application and java date picker and keep the name of project date picker and you need to insert a date project name and location of the project folder where you want to be put all the data and next uh, which version of java you can use glass face and all that and we are not going to use any framework in this the simple task so just click on finish and uh, you can see here uh, the date picker is here so after doing this just open this task i am not going to waste your time and uh, i'm just going to copy and paste this code and i will explain this code to you so insert date in database using date picker create a jsp index road jsp so okay i'm going to create index road jsp first so right click on this project and uh, just create a jsp file the file name will be index dot jsp one more file is index.html is there which is automatic created by the id but i'm going to delete it and here the index.csv file is created again go on this and copy this complete code and i'm going to paste it here so now i'm going to explain you what exactly this code is doing yes it's a simple html code and i'm going to use java query for using the date picker for creating a date picker these are the style link uh, which is you need to insert this link for using jquery for linking uh, all the for using all the libraries of jquery so just a script and it's links uh, from directly fetching from internet data because we are providing as a source a complete link because only we need to write this code a script and i'm going to create a function and in this function i'm providing an id and this id i'm defined here inside the input box update and just call the date picker right here is a simple html form and on that submission of that form the uh, action will goes to a servlet file which name is date picker and it is a label for interior data or something and input type text dov name dov and date picker the name of is dov okay for <coughs> now it's done now my next is uh, create a servlet file date picker dot java so i'm going to create a date picker dot java file so right click servlet and date picker and yes i want to do this yeah just remove this uh, this uh, servlet file created by an edwin id for me i'm going to remove this html code from uh, this uh, process request method and the place of this i'm going to copy this code and don't remove the complete code just remove that html code and paste it yeah now you need to import some packages according to the configuration so remember that you need to a package for a connection class so java.sql remember that sql package or next package will be for driver manager and one for there is a two statement bean statement and sql so remember for the sql statement and it's going so it's not 
it's going to be an error so add catch clause simple and uh, this is what remove the catch clause yeah it's extra clause something so just remove this so i think date picker the servlet file is done and uh, now i need to configure my database so i already configure my database so just you need to create a database inside this database uh, this is select a stick from the employee yeah inside this database just to create a i'm going to create a um, table the tailor there is the table there is a id as uh, auto incremented and this dov or you can make table according to your requirement right so in servlet uh, the this jsp file sending data with dov name to date picker so here is a date picker which is receiving file the date in this string by request dot get parameter that is a connection code for uh, database connectivity with mysql so we use dot class dot phone name and driver manager and all the things finally we need to write a query for uh, insert data in database so write a query where when you are going to insert a data in database you have to pass execute update Okay. When you are going to select data from database, you have to use execute query. So I'm using execute update and insert into EMP. EMP is my table name and the field name is DOV. Values is DOV. This DOV. And finally, I'm going to print a message here. One more important thing: if you are going you if you are going to use the database connectivity uh, with uh, MySQL, so need you need a database connector, a file, a supported file. which is called mysql connector so right click on project how to import that file right click on project that uh, data property insert on project property just go in library and add zar folder so you can see here is a file mysql connector so you need to download this file from internet so simply click okay and okay i think it's done I'm going to show you how to download that MySQL this connector, MySQL connector, connectors are. So you can see here, or you can see here also. So just open these two or three link to the official site. The Java two s dot com also provide them valid valid files. So you can download from here also. So. you can download this yeah this is the file you have to download this file okay so i think uh, i done my all the task now i'm going to run this project and check the details i'm going to run this so you can see enter your worth date of worth and when i click on this input box the automatic date picker is enabled okay so we i pick a date here if you want to move that november september december anything so like uh i pick a date 23 11 and 17 and submit click on submit your date of birth is this it's read by that uh, servlet and uh, submitted in database So just check the database output. So now click run. You can see uh, the date. This is eleven twenty three to seven. So it's working properly. And uh, once one more time, I'm going to show you. Let's refresh the page. Pick a date like two number or three number. Submit. Again check the database. You can see here the date. Yeah. So I will provide. Uh, uh, I'm not going to provide that uh, database uh, code for you. So you need just need to create a database and a table inside the database and a field with the name DOB or uh, the table name will be EMP. And uh, I will provide all the required code uh, 
below the video in this uh, description box i will provide a link the link will be redirect to you in this code1.com in this code1.com you can read the complete code and uh, complete article and copy use the complete code so thank you so much for watching if you like and if you want more videos related to java jsp servlets or uh, some java solving problem so you can comment to me or uh, if you like or dislike please uh, show me or uh, or if you want to share with some one <clears throat> please share this video and uh, i'm going to uh, tell you one more thing in problem solving series if you go in the problem solving tell, uh, series there is a 80 or uh, 100 something uh, problems are there related to java if you want to learn java coding if you want to face the interview challenge and uh, interview return challenge so please check these details check uh, check this post detail like there is a basic programs are there how to count this string how to merge sorting and array and all that and uh, thank you.